counselor to the president Kelly Conway said she was the aide who encouraged President Trump to not condemn embattled Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore, accused of preying on teen girls. This is false about me. No reporter contacted me, either, Conway tweeted Tuesday morning. She was pushing back on a Daily Beast report that said Conway, along with ex-White House chief strategist Steve Bannon, were responsible for Trump not weighing in on more with Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders repeating Monday that this is something that the people of Alabama should decide. Scroll down for video. Counselor to the President Kelly e. Conway pushed back on a Daily Beast report that said she was one of President Trump's aides who urged him to not condemn Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. Kelly e. Conway took to Twitter Tuesday morning to call the story false and knock the reporters for not calling her for comment. The story also said former aide Steve Bannon, pictured at a Moore event in September, was encouraging President Trump to stay on the sidelines, as the embattled Moore could still win the race. President Trump has publicly criticized Senator Al Franken for his alleged groping of women, but has condemned Roy Moore, accused by nine women of sexual assault and harassment. The Daily Beast sources gave Conway credit for urging Trump behind the scenes to stay on the sidelines while at the same time, her public tone shifted. On Thursday, Conway boasted that she had been the first administration official to come out against Moore's conduct as it was described, noting Trump had made a statement about the allegations while he was in Asia and has been busy ever since. Moore, Trump suggested, would do the right thing if the allegations about the Alabama Senate hopeful turned out to be true. Conway also said Thursday on Fox and Friends that whatever the facts end up being, the premise, of course, the incontrovertible principle, is that there is no Senate seat worth more than a child. On Monday, during a repeat appearance on Fox and Friends, Conway pointed out that a vote for Democrat Doug Jones, Moore's competitor, meant a vote against Trump's tax reform bill. I am telling you that we want the votes in the Senate to get this tax bill through, Conway said. She also turned the scandal back around, suggesting if the media cared so much about sexual assault, Senator Al Franken, a Democrat who has been accused of groping and kissing women without their permission, would already be gone. If the media were really concerned about all of these allegations, and that's what this was truly about and the Democrats Al Franken would be on the ash heap of bygone half-funny comedians, he wouldn't be here on Capitol Hill, he still has his job. Conway said. Trump has also tweeted on the Franken scandal. What's Bob Menendez doing back here, that's the best my state of New Jersey can do. She also said, name dropping the Senate Democrat who was on trial for corruption, a case that ended in mistrial. Later Monday, Huckabee Sanders was asked if Conway's comments were meant to be interpreted as a change in position. The press secretary said no.